Welcome to Jakarta, Indonesia. Just imagine 400 years ago, the Dutch East Indies Company came through here with the seeds, which was the beginning of coffee in Java. Come and join us on these Indonesian coffee trails. Coffee was first introduced to Indonesia during its colonial days from 1696. Now a major player in the world coffee market, Indonesia is the fourth largest producer of coffee in the world. With an export ratio of 25% Arabica and 75% Robusta. This leg of my coffee trail begins in Java, heading north to the independent plantations of Bandung and then to the island of Sumatra, where we explore the highlands of Medan and Aceh. We've just come south of Jakarta, about an hour and a half to a city called Bandung. Surrounding Bandung is some great coffee, but I'm here to see a mate of mine who went through the coffee school a couple of years ago back in Australia. He set up a roastery and an espresso machine, so God, I'm looking forward to a coffee. Um, and he's going to be our guide and show us around the hills out of here where there's some fantastic coffee. Nail, is that you? Oh, man! Hello! Hey, how are you? How are you? Good. It was great to catch up with Nathaniel after all these years to see how far he's come since graduating from our coffee school. After a quick tour of the cafe, roasting facilities and a taste of the local drop, Nathaniel was keen to take me up to the hills around Bandung. The first stop on our journey was a little farming co-op in the foothills of Bandung that Nathaniel was involved with. All right, we are here, top. Wow, we're here. Ah, look at this. Whoa. Check it out. Nice. Yeah, please meet. Here's the Hello. farmer. My name is Yamur. Yamur. Yes. My name is Toby. Yeah. Nice to meet you. you. I'm very well. How are you? <laughs> Good man. <laughs> Well, look at this. Okay. This is the one that I told you about the processing. Yeah. So you don't want to uh, keep the coffee to dry in the parchment. No. So they, now they already opened it before it's too dry. Yeah. So you will get the nice green color out of the green beans later on. These fellas floating are called floaters. <laughs> and uh, the reason they're being taken out is because they're full of air, that means a borer or insect has got inside them. So these aren't any good because they don't roast up well. So out they go into a bucket before this then goes into the pulper. Whilst not yet certified, all the coffee in this plantation is organic, hand-picked and wet processed in this traditional fashion. Okay, I see here you've got some little seedlings. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be for the next uh, plantation or maybe it's replacing the old trees. Yeah. Coffee trees, it, it's there. So they keep doing it all year round. Oh. Back on the road, Nathaniel took us high into the Bandung Mountains to see some of the local varietals and experience the amazing growing conditions of this region. Coffee has only recently been reintroduced to this area and tea is the dominant crop due to a virus that destroyed many of the coffee trees. It's been a steep climb up from Bandung and we find ourselves here amongst these beautiful trees, shade grown coffee, we're about 1400 meters uh, high, uh, surrounded by various varieties of tree. Which one is this now? Okay, this one is the Katimor. Uh, so we have two types here, two variety. One is Ateng, and the other one is this one, the Katimor. In terms of flavor, nice, round, big cherries, mm. and gives you, yeah, let's try it out. Uh, gives you, as you try it, mm, it's nice. Mm. That's sweet, sweet. Yeah, and also the the coffee inside is big and big nice. and round, yeah. and it's just nice. It's what you good size, for. yeah, sweet. 
This Tang. is the Achi Tangan. Yes. All right. If you compare it to each other, it, you can yeah. tell directly the difference. And it forms in groups yeah, of clusters on the branch. Yeah, the cluster one is yeah. the Katimo, and this one is just yeah. like go all mm. the way. It's still sweet. Yeah, but the Katimo one mm. gives, sorry, gives you more flavor, yeah. more sweetness yeah. when you eat the cherries. Mm. Yeah. And also, as you see, here, the coffee plantation here is shaded with the uh, eucalyptus trees there. Mm. It's the volcanic area. Yeah. And so it's a volcanic type of soil. Yeah. And that's why it's very, very, very fertile. Yeah, yeah. The next stop on my Indonesian coffee trail is the island of Sumatra, where I visited the dry processing mills of Medan, situated at a lower altitude than the coffee growing regions. The temperature in Medan is much hotter and the work is gruelling. We've just arrived just outside of Medan, yeah. here in this facility here with Ujang, and he's yeah. going to explain what he does with the coffee. Yeah. Well, for the coffee, we have uh, coffee fair trade and organic. So what have we got here? Here is specialty coffee. Yeah. Uh, we will use the big bin and big size yeah. to the selling. Okay, where's all mine gone? I'm getting a, a discount for doing this. Okay, girls, who's going to give us a hand? Because we're running out, the sun's going down. Can you go and go? You? My friend and I are here, gonna, it's going to take us all day to finish this. I'll swap you. No? No! <laughs> ah. Well, she showed me up then, didn't she? <laughs> I needed to learn Indonesian at school. After a full day's drive, we find ourselves in the province of Aceh, nearby the Lake Toba and the town of Takengong. Nestled amongst the dense rainforest, it was not hard to find the plantations. We were lucky enough to happen to find an organic certifier from the NASA who showed us around and also showed us his novel way of awarding a bird-friendly certificate to a farm. Just checking with the bird sound whether there are few birds or not. I think the birds are over there and someone's having a party over there. Yeah, yeah. They're going to come and start mating soon. <laughs> <laughs> Get married again. <laughs> Philosophically, uh, the commitment of people to organic here in Indonesia, not like in Australia or not like in India mm -hmm. or not like in, in Nepal. Mm -hmm. In Nepal, more people are involved in organic or Indonesia in organic, yeah. in, in Australia in organic, yeah. somehow guided by some yeah. philosophy, yeah. either organic philosophy yeah. or permaculture or biodynamic agriculture yeah. or natural farming. Yeah. Here, of course, they are guided by philosophy, mm -hmm. but more on financial point. Yeah, right. Yeah. Because this is uh, more on financial point. They're needing money more. They're yeah, more yeah, yeah, the yeah, money yeah, than yeah. helping nature. Yeah, yeah, of course, that is the that is good because the economy and finance is one of the major pillar of mm -hmm. any any initiative. Yeah, and they understand this. mechanistically, yeah. mechanically, yeah. objective way, not mm -hmm. from the subjective mm -hmm. domain. Yeah, right. What is he doing? He's filming you because you're the movie star. Oh. <laughs> 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 the movie star. Indonesia is a vast land with huge cultural diversity. Such an exciting place with such amazing coffee.